Hold still during the scan. We've successfully trialled our first micro drone, and it's officially as cute as the Dickens. I've decided to name it Sebastian. Time to break into Titus. And take away Nigel Cass's newest toy, Project Themet. Find the schematics of the building, and I'll work out the location of the Themis project. Look round for anything named Themis. Of course. Easy peasy. Well, if I was hiding a top secret morally dubious drone project like Themis, I would put it in the secure vault on the lowest level. You will have to hack your way past some pretty serious security, however. The elevator that leads to the secure vault that houses Themis is locked down. You will have to access the bypass terminal to use it. You will require a spider bot.
you'll be using Sebastian and the rest of the microdrones to bypass security. But first you'll have to get by that laser array. I suggest a spider bot and steady nerves. Of course, easy peasy. Sebastian, this is what you and your friend have been training for. Time to crash the security grid for Daddy. Go forth, little drones. Show Daddy what you can do. That's the spirit. She'll be pretty sick. Destroy them, Sebastian, and for God's sake, be careful. ruin Nigel's fucking day. London, once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. <laughs> These drones can identify, isolate, and terminate threats before they can do harm. They could go anywhere, see everything. They could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision. The missed drones can do what humans have always struggled to. Act immediately and decisively.
life score algorithm. My algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Famous works. No, fam. Well, yeah. This was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Bloody hell. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. Oh, for Christ... All right. And Finney. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world, and this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be revetted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. This time, we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is gonna steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. It was a group effort, Hamish. We wouldn't have gotten very far without your help. And we'll need your help again next time we take on Nigel Cass. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days are helping ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. Oh my, I am rather good at this dead sec business, aren't I? You wouldn't have been recruited if dead sec thought you'd be killed that easily. You sure know how to sweet talk a gentleman. Bagley's got a special style. You'll grow to love it. Well done, by the way. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi is down or something. Is that really relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously there's more to it than that, but I knew I had to make a joke where you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. 